Xiaomi is one of the biggest smartphone manufacturers in the world. Their new Mi 5 smartphone is one of the current flagships. There are two versions, a regular version and a pro version. The main difference being memory, and the pro version has a ceramic back. My Twitter follower said I should just test the regular Mi 5 since I have it, so here we are. About to start my 22nd high-end smartphone bin test. 20 smartphones that I have tested have survived so far, and only two phones have catastrophically failed. So let's see what happens to the Xiaomi Mi 5. Let's start with the scratch test. The Mi 5 has Gorilla Glass 4, which we have tested before on other smartphones. The most scale of hardness picks that I have reveal that the screen starts to scratch at a level 6, and the deeper groove starts with the level 7 pick. This is on par with other high-end phones, so no surprises here. The back glass of the phone is also Gorilla Glass 4. The logo is on the underside of the glass, so you won't have any issues with it chipping or rubbing off. Lucky for us, the camera lens is also made of glass. It won't get scratched easy like the Sony Z5 or the BlackBerry Priv plastic camera lenses. The home button is also made of glass, so it will not scratch easy either. The sides of the phone are made of metal. You can see that the scratches are on the surface. There is no thick primer or paint covering or hiding anything, just like on the Galaxy S7. The metal is on the outside. The phone is very lightweight at 4.9 ounces. Now the burn test. It took about 4 seconds for the flame to have any effect on the screen. The pixels turned black, but then fully recovered once the heat had dissipated. You can see that the phone is cool to the touch within seconds of the flame being removed. Keep in mind there are a million factors that you take into consideration when buying a smartphone, not just durability. But durability is a factor, and that's where I come in. Now onto the bin test. This phone broke faster than a soggy graham cracker, so let's watch it one more time in slow motion. Not every aluminum alloy is the same. Apple learned this the hard way with the iPhone 6 and upgraded their newer iPhone 6S to the 7000 series aluminum. Xiaomi is offering top of the line flagship components in a subpar brittle aluminum body. It has basically the same components as the Samsung Galaxy S7 but costs $200 less and now we see why. So let's jump into this wreckage to analyze. I don't want to buy another phone to prove any points. I want to point out Xiaomi's tamper evident stickers on the inside of the phone as well. It looks like it broke right along the battery line where the phone is the weakest, similar to the Huawei Nexus 6P. Also, a lot of phones will have two frames, like the LG and Motorola phones. Even the iPhone will have a separate frame that attaches to the screen of the device and another frame that houses all the internal components. These two frames, whether plastic or metal, will add rigidity to the device. And the Mi 5 only has one, lower quality, aluminum frame for everything. Having only one frame saves a ton on manufacturing costs, but also sacrifices when it comes to durability. I've had 20 other phones pass the bin test with flying colors, so not every smartphone will bend. I would recommend that Mi 5 users buy a case. Well, I'm going to set this on the shelf of shame next to my Nexus 6Ps and my HTC M9. If you want to watch the two other catastrophic durability failures, go ahead and click these videos. Or if you want something on a happier, less destructive note, check out my Golden Star Wars Lego video. It's rather entertaining. Thanks a ton for watching. Hope to see you around.